Hi, today I'm going to do this very glowy look. So very sun-kissed, very natural look. It's really, really quick and I am doing it because I posted an image recently of Alicia Vikander who I'd done her makeup for the new Louis Vuitton campaign. I don't know if you've seen it in the magazines, it's out at the moment, it's the Louis Vuitton with Jeff Koons bag collection. And um, yes, it's a very kind of golden goddessy type of look but very natural so it's not tons of eyeshadow very glowy skin highlighter and it's very easy and anyone can do it so obviously when you're doing this kind of look you can't just suddenly make your face look very tan because that way you're gonna have to make up your neck you're gonna have to make up your arms your hands every bit of exposed skin so the first thing to do is we need to create a sort of slightly warmer skin tone I can't go much warmer because my neck obviously is lighter and my body and it depends how much skin you're going to be exposing and also whether you naturally have a body which is darker in colour to your face or vice versa. So I'm going to start with this Tom Ford bronzing gel. This is a good idea if you have really good skin because you can kind of add the colour. You're not getting any coverage from this but it's giving you that straight away that sort of taking you a, a shade or two deeper than your natural skin tone so just a light buff over with something like that and obviously if you are going to be exposing a lot of your body then like so like your legs or whatever or your hands then you could use a faked hand before doing this so that on your body so that at least when you make up your face you suddenly don't have these really light arms and limbs that's a really thin layer of the bronzing gel. So another way to do that, if you do need a little bit more coverage, is just to use a very light coverage foundation. So something like a cushion foundation is good. Um, and again, going, this is one, two shades darker than I would normally. So this is shade number four, and I would normally be at around a two. So this gives a bit more coverage, but it also does the same thing as the gel. It just all over gives you that you know that shade that sort of slightly deeper skin tone and this applies whatever your skin tone I mean you're just going to go one or maximum two shades warmer and you can see already that's sort of the same color as the gel but it's just evening out my skin tone more alternatively you could just use the gel and then use concealer so next I'm going to use some concealer. You do need to conceal because if you go a little bit warmer or a little bit deeper in your base, you'll find that you're almost starting to match the shadowy areas of your face, which can end up making your face look really flat. I'm going to use it underneath my eyes to lift the blueness there. And I'm also going to use it in any other shadowy areas just to kind of create that lift there so that everything is not becoming very tonal and very dark. Oh, I must say, I also, just at the end there, I just went over my lids with what was left on the brush, which is not, not a lot. And the secret is just how thin, thin this all is. It's so thin. This colour now is really in synergy with my skin. It's really part of my skin. It's not a dark foundation that's sitting on top of my skin quite the opposite this is something which is kind of part of me now for today anyway and a little bit around my chin my nose sorry and just there around the center of my face so just lifting these shadowy areas so for eyes I'm going to do something very simple we already have a little color on there because of the tanner this is just a cream shadow stick and this is just simply to create a shadow on the socket line and choose the shade depending on your skin tone this needs to be a little bit deeper than your skin and then I actually used a kind of dark brownish pencil uh, on Alicia and it was just just in between the roots of the lashes it was more to kind of create this sort of thick lash line so it doesn't need to be anything extravagant <laughs> should we say <laughs> and then just 
often blend work into roots. What's nice about this is you don't need any skills or talent in makeup. However, the skill is almost in the restraint, so I guess you do need skills and talent. It's about not putting too much on, and that's probably just as hard sometimes. A really good thing to do is to use a cream, a kind of off-white pencil, just along the lower lash line. Not, not too much, just to kind of, it just helps the whites of your eyes really pop, and then that, of course, against the glow in the skin and the slight kind of tan. really helps to enhance the glow and just giving my eyelashes a really good curl and then lots of black mascara this will frame the eyes and also help the eyes to look whiter again against this lovely glowy skin and then a little bit on the lower lashes not tons now I really need the luminizer and this will really counteract with the color and the glow that I already have and I'm gonna use the RMS one so this is quite a light shade which will really pop against what I've done already so all around that high cheekbone I'm doing this now because I'm actually going to use a bronzer which is powder to create the shape and, and give myself a little more color so I need to use any cream products now I use that on the top lip as well I'm going to use a little bit of powder all over. Actually, before I finish powdering, I forgot I wanted to use a cream blusher, or actually a liquid blush. This really nice peachy colour by Studio 10. And you always need a little bit of blush when you do a kind of bronze look. I just think it looks so much nicer. It doesn't have to be obvious, it's just that all skin tones after being in the sun have a little bit more color in their cheeks a little bit of peachiness or a bit of redness whatever depending on your skin tone and just adding that i just think lifts a kind of tan and stops it from looking muddy if you use a cream like this or a liquid it really just does become part of the skin like everything else that we've done today so now i've just powdered lightly all over just because the cushion foundation is beautiful, it's very, very dewy. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of shine off and also because I'm about to use a powder product and if it's the face is dewy and moist, it will pick up all of the color, It'll pick up too much of the bronzer and then it will look patchy. So I don't wanna create any more color in my face, but I am gonna use a bronzer just to shape the face. So I personally would always use a matte bronzer if it was a day look and if it's an evening look, something with a little bit of sparkle in. So really I'm just looking to do a little bit of, like a type of bronzing sculpture thing. So bringing in the shape of the cheekbone, coming around the sides of the temples. This is really just giving some definition. And if you need to, add a little bit more colour on the centre of your neck, which is a really light area for most people. And a dust over the brow bones. You can add a little bit more colour to the centre of the nose if you want that real fake sun-kissed look. But just keep it all really, really light. So for brows, I'm not really going to... Um, do much with them at all. Tiny little bit of powder and then I'm mainly going to use some brow gel with a tinted brow gel but not a very dark one. So just brushing them. It's not making them any darker this one. And that just kind of frames but the focus is definitely all on the skin. Finally for lips, I'm going to use a kind of peachy liquid lip. Pinky, mm, put too much on. Just let me rub that in. I'm actually gonna use a tiny bit of the cushion just to lighten that. 
that's a tiny bit of foundation I think this look looks really pretty when the lips are a little bit lighter I am going to use a tiny bit of pencil And that's the finished look. And I, you probably think she doesn't look any different. We just put all of those layers on, she looks no different. So I'm actually going to do the before and after now and talk through it. And you can see how really I look totally different. I still haven't gone crazily dark that, I, you know, my body like doesn't match my face at all. In fact, if I put my arm up, which I have got a slight tan on my arm, you can see that even without any kind of fake tan on my body, just going this little bit warmer and adding this little bit of glow, the little bit of shine, and also the bronzer that's just kind of a hint deeper than the skin tone really makes a huge difference. So I hope that was helpful and I'll see you soon.